This layout that I'm about to give you not only saves me countless hours, but only takes me 20 minutes to completely edit a short form video. And I will teach you how I make these short form edits to only 20 minutes in another video that's going to be coming up next. But I will show you only the layout right now and tips and tricks on what kind of software, or not software, but what kind of plugins you should use because this definitely helps save time 100% of the time. So let's look at it. All right, this is exactly how I edit every single one of my short form content and even YouTube videos. I Let's first look at the window tab and make sure that you have your timeline, tools, text, program monitor, essential sound and graphics, your effects, effects control panel, audio track mixer and audio meters. Real quick, if you need to save time for client deadlines or for what really matters to you in life, then you need my ultimate signature bundle. I've saved so much time, it's unbelievable. And if you feel iffy about it, there is a free version about it so you get a taste of what saving time and your dream state is like. So now let's get back to the video. Rest of it, no one cares about. Unless, I mean, you're, you're that guy, but. Or you can also use the source monitor. I do use that a lot too. Let's put this right over here. But what I do is I have my project file right here on the top to the right so I can just easily grab an import instead of going down here and dragging. I like to see it where it's eye level. My essential graphics I also like to keep up here just so then when I'm looking at this I can just drag and boom right here. Simple as that. My effects control panel usually is over here so then I can instantly when I'm dragging any kind of my fades or any of my movement presets I can easily just drag it right here it'll pop up right over here and then I can edit all the keyframes just to make it really easy and simple and what plugins I 100% recommend is Mr. Horace's Premier Composer this is a 300% game changer for every single video editor. It doesn't matter if you're doing long form, short form, get this, you will need this. I don't even, I don't pay for it. Get the free version, look at this. All you do, it gives you all these starters, which these are great for text and presets. Here, let's blow it up for you. Look at all these starters, these transitions are pre. All you have to do is click on the one if you wanted to go bottom left or top left like that, you just do that, hit add adjust it to your layer, boom, done. Social media, it's got every single one of these, but what really, 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 really is a game changer, look at this, user library. You can import your own assets and instead of importing them every single time on your project, it's here 24 seven. So this is exactly where I put all of my stuff, all of my transitions, my packs, my safe zones, everything that I use every video, put in here, automatically imported, not have to deal with some bull crap, just one and done. The second I recommend is Motion Ray. Motion Ray is a paid plugin, but not only will you get this tab where you can easily just do stock footage. So if you want any of these stock footage or just any time to search up here, like let's say girl or man, boom got a crap ton of stuff about man eyeballs or if you want sound effects they're here you can easily just click on these and then download it and it'll instantly see like this what click on that it'll go up here you go over to your project boom it's already imported and it has multiple not just one of them and the second reason why you is a must need look at this the plugins not only is this Oh, looks like that. like that. They update it even regularly, so you can you can see that I still need to update, and they keep adding and adding and adding more and more presets just for you to make your life easier and not waste. Just like I help editors like you guys. So I'll just run through this really quick. It's easy to just grab and drop like this stutter chromatic effect. Boom, just like they just drag it on, and it's so easy. And not only is it good for Premiere Pro. It also works in DaVinci Resolve, After Effects, and Final Cut. Like, 
Dude, that is, it's crazy. And now let's go to how I set up everything. I have my program and source to my right so I can just see it really quick and it's all blown up so I can instantly see everything about it, how like good the resolution, or not the resolution, but like I can just see all of it and it's a lot easier for motion and everything. And then I have my project and all my essential and effects up here just so I can easily drag and drop, like I said, and look at the effects control panel. And then I have my Premiere Composer, which I mean, to be honest with you, you could change to the right and put over here so then you can kind of see this and only have your essential sound and and your effects over here so you can just easily just only see these so you can see them 24 7 and then i have my timeline down here because i mean you're an editor so you know timeline is like the most important thing you need to see that and you need to if you really want to be honest if i really want to be honest with you i wish i had another monitor so i could the entire screen would be my timeline but it is what it is man <laughs> okay. and then my keybinds i keep usually everything basic except i have a keybind where here let me grab a clip really quick so i can show you so let's say i want to take this out right here i do that then i do command x and then i have a command or i have a control v and i'll just instantly bop it instead of me grabbing it and pushing it over here really simple if you guys want a tutorial on that let me know in the comments and i will make one for you and i'll probably even make it better than most people but <laughs> we'll see that's basically it that's how my layout is for all of my videos it's pretty simple so i hope you guys really enjoy this because i definitely did enjoy making this video so please like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next video peace